hey what's up guys welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to start adding more entities to our project the first one will be the delivery model and I will show you my idea around what I am trying to do so I have a rough diagram which basically suggests that I will have an entity called delivery and that delivery will have multiple estimates now that estimate can be broken down into number of issues and then finally I will have issues with multiple time entries. So what is happening over here is important to understand. So my thought process here is that when a project comes in for estimation purpose we will break down that particular project into multiple work items. For example when I am talking about this GitLab MX project this can be broken down into multiple modules for example the user authentication the project the client and stuff like that and then for the purpose of pricing of this project we may choose to estimate based on hours so for example how much will the authentication piece take for me how much time will I take integrating GitLab with this project those kind of stuff and then finally for every estimation there is a concept that you know, we need to deliver something it can be a sprint it can be the entire project whatever we want to classify as a delivery because in projects which are sprint based we will again do some level of estimation and the delivery can be the items that are part of that particular sprint so it kind of holds everything together so we have a delivery which is tied obviously to a project then we have title description start date end date is complete progress percentage estimated hours and completed hours the progress percentage is a calculated value which i'll be storing to retrieve the values quickly now the delivery will be having many estimates and then each estimate can have multiple issues for and I'm loosely saying issue because then issue can also be a task for example authentication can have one issue which is handling the login second can be handling the logout handling forgot password and things like that maybe handling social login so those are different issues and each of them can go to the estimate the main estimate of authentication module and then what happens is let's say there are three developers working on the authentication piece one is on working on the login someone is logging uh, working on the logout someone is doing the forgot password maybe there is a front-end developer doing all the you know uh, ui stuff so all of them are making their time entries but those issues when they are created right they are mapped to the estimate which is authentication and that's how you will get an overall picture of the time consumed for individual estimates and even the overall delivery okay so a lot of explanation i hope this was clear i felt this is important to understand before we dive into each individual models okay so yeah that's uh, pretty much what i have in my mind so let's start with the delivery model so i'll create my model using the laravel idea plugin this is really very helpful now there will be quite a few fields so I'll quickly add them all right so these are my fields I have my project ID old owner ID which will be the user ID I'm calling it owner title description start date end date is complete progress complete all of them will be whole numbers you know integers estimated hours and completed hours all right so with this done I'll create the entire thing I will need to add a few things over here for example I would change this to foreign ID 4 because in the plugin I don't have the ability to do that but I still go ahead and make those changes because you know, it generates the fact factory pretty well so it saves time uh, per se user class I want this to be indexed and I think there will be certain things which will need to be nullable for example 
quite a few actually should be nullable. Okay, this is done. I have my delivery model. Okay, these are properly added. I have my factory. I will change these a little bit. So I'll have project factory, user factory. And then I have, let's just say start date is fine, but the ends at should never be the now or something previous. So what I will do is I'll add date to it, random 520. So it should add a date between 5 to 20 and then put the end date. That's just a basic logic, nothing, nothing else. And in here, the policy, I would say, auth check is what I will do right now. All right, so I have added the auth, auth check to every uh, function or method over here. And then with that in place, generally speaking, we have created the model, its migration, its factory. Now it's time to add the relationship. For that, what I will do is first of all, create a new test. My model test will be model delivery test. And the first test will be to confirm that the delivery belongs to a project. So I'll test delivery belongs to a project. So what we need to do here, I'll create a delivery. And then what I'm expecting is that there is a property called project and that should be an instance of the project class. So now, obviously this is going to fail because we don't have the relationship. So when, why don't we open it up? I'll open delivery model. Okay, I have the relation now. So if I now run the test, it's giving me a green, which means this is passing now. But we need to also add the other side of the test, uh, sorry, the relationship, which is that a project has many deliveries. So I'll open up my model project test and I'll add one more test over here. So my test is that a project has many deliveries. So I will create a project first. I'm creating the factory method. Then I'm saying that this project has three delivery and then I define the relationship name. Create. Now I can assert So here I'm expecting that the project has a property called deliveries and each of them are an instance of delivery class. So let's open up my project model. I mean, obviously this is going to fail. This is nothing new. So what I'm going to do here is open up my model. I have deliveries. A project has many deliveries, which automatically means this is and has many delivery. Now let's go back to our test and run it and we have a green. So this means the two sides of the relationship are done. Similarly, my delivery has owner ID. So what I will do is over here, say owner. So this, the delivery belongs to user 
okay and this will be again belongs to i'm just thinking in my delivery my user owner id okay let's see foreign key is owner id okay and then let me also put the other relationship which is user has many deliveries okay and i'll do return this has many and in here the foreign key is owner id so now if i create my first test for the delivery my test will be delivery belongs to an owner and then i expect owner delivery owner should have taken this i don't know why it is not coming um maybe because of this let's see okay i'll just try with this delivery hmm. sorry owner and to be an instance of user plus let's see okay it is failing because undefined property dollar owner so my delivery model has owner and i think i do get confused between these two things in my user the foreign key is owner id okay so i'll put this in and let me see undefined property dollar owner oh i know what has happened i didn't create that model and that's why it is creating that problem and yes now it is working okay so i have this test and now if i go to my model user test i'll need to put that relation test as well i'll just close that testing thing and this test will be user has many deliveries so I can also do a count like in the previous one for example I had factory and then three we can also do count okay deliveries we need to mention the <clears throat> relation and then we do create so now I want to assert that I expect user deliveries each instance to be an instance of delivery okay so with this again obviously this is going to pass as you can see we have our basic relations along with the model the migration policies and stuff done right and that is the beauty of test driven development we were able to quickly set things up and now that my relations are in place in the next video we will quickly create the create page for a delivery so that you know we can map it to a project add the basic stuff which is required for the entity to be created so yeah that's what i wanted to cover in this video if you like this video then do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel